Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of the My Swine Windows emulator for Android the version 0.3.0 which was released just yesterday and it brings lot of new changes new features bug fixes and much more in today's video we'll be checking it out along with a gameplay test best settings and even setup so before getting started if you guys are new here hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i upload similar videos on my channel let's get started so you will be able to see it is completely open source and on its official GitHub of the android version minimum requirement is android 10 or above along with the adreno gpu and mali gpu support is present you will be able to read the information such as native driver works well for all type of processors which means even the unsupported mali gpu and snapdragon processors will work well with the MySwine windows emulator now you will be able to see about 19 hours ago the official MySwine application version 3.0 was released now before updating to this version you will need to remove the previous version of MySwine if you have used it before you will be able to see a lot of changes have been made including added grid for virtual controller editor along with that added x input support fixing system issues export save games to internal storage added adreno tool driver support which is pretty amazing added d-pad on virtual controllers improve welcome screen as well as better ui and ux designs along with that lot more changes have been made now i have already added this version of my swine emulator on my android device so let's start setting it up right away when you open it for the first time you'll need to tap on the next button afterwards enable this option go back and now tap here what you'll need to do next is select the my swine root fs which is required to run this emulator it is also open source on github by the developer of my swine this process will take good amount of time so just be patient until it has been completed it will depend device to device but in my opinion it will take around two to three minutes once the setup has been completed you'll be able to see some information such as shortcuts settings as well as device manager etc but you'll be able to see the information of this version of my swine emulator updated on march 24th it comes with wine version 10.0 which is pretty amazing so let me show you guys how to set up this windows emulator right away along with its best settings first of all we'll need to go to settings afterwards go to general settings go to debug settings and here make sure to enable the enable slash disable cpu usage counter once that has been done you can go to driver info to get information about the drivers that you will be using inside this emulator by default there are two graphics driver mesa turnip adreno driver 25.0.0 which is only for snap Dragon processor Android devices that support Turnip, whereas if you have a universal graphics driver with Mali GPU or an unsupported Snapdragon processor Android device, you'll need to go with Mesa Android wrapper. So here I have just selected it. Afterwards, go back. You can go to environment settings and add environment variables if you wish to do so, but we won't be doing that in today's video. Once that has been done, now we'll go to Box64 Preset Manager. Here we'll just go and tap on Edit, and here you'll be able to edit the preset. Big block level, make sure to set it to three. Scroll down and make sure to set the safe flags level to zero once that has been done simply go back afterwards go back once again now there is an option known as rat package manager here you will be able to check out the graphics driver that are available you will be able to select them for example the box 64 version wine version which will be used which is going to be wine 10.1 e-sync with x input support you will be also able to choose the dxvk version that you want to use as well as wine d3d vk d3d and much more you can also tap on this option if you want to add any custom graphics driver which are available as you'll be able to see even different versions of mesa android wrapper if we go to box 64 you'll also be able to find the latest versions of box 64 as well as wine dxvk and so on so this simulator is really amazing now it is shaping up to be really great compared to the previous versions which i had tested they were very unstable well what i am most interested about is the virtual controller mapper because this has been an issue for a very long time let me just go ahead and create our own preset known as l and here i'll just go ahead and tap on edit now you'll be able to see it shows us a black screen so here i'll just go ahead and swipe back tap on add virtual axis and here the virtual axis has been added and once again the developer has not fixed the buttons which cannot be seen unfortunately this is very important if you want to map your controls you'll need to manually do these settings or else you won't be able to get the on-screen touch controls working inside the my swine windows emulator so it would be really amazing if the developer can just provide us an virtual gamepad profile by default because here you will be able to see even the default virtual gamepad profile which has been provided here does not have any kind of on-screen touch controls, so it's actually not that useful and that is my only request to the developer i really hope that he does add some on-screen touch controls which will be very helpful i'll make sure to add all the on-screen touch controls and be back so here we go guys after giving it some time i have created my custom profile for the on-screen touch controls i'll just go and exit it now and hopefully it will be saved 
shared so here i'll just go ahead and tap on edit and yeah has been successfully shared thank god let's move on towards our next step which is going to be to go to the shortcut section and here we have our wine container you'll be able to open the my swine windows emulator by tapping on the desktop button but you can also create your own container let me show you guys how that actually works so here i'll exit the my swine windows emulator afterwards at the top right corner you'll be able to see and plus button so here I'll just go ahead and tap on it and now you'll be able to create your own container, give it a name and select the wine version afterwards tap on confirm. Afterwards it will automatically create another wine prefix and you'll also be able to modify the container settings. So here you will be able to see either the default container or the container that we created just now. You'll be able to open desktop in both versions and modify the settings like I showed you guys before. For now we'll just go with the default option and open our my swine windows emulator for android. At the top left corner you'll be able to see the memory usage as well as cpu usage. Towards the right side is all of our device information including the graphics driver which we are using. So now I'll just go ahead and tap on the start option afterwards we'll go to direct text test and open the cube map test. Now you'll be able to see it has successfully launched which means the graphical output actually works and this simulator should be now playable on our android device. So let me just go ahead and quickly launch a game and I'll be back. For today's video we'll be going with Grand Theft Auto 4 and here I'll just go ahead and enable stage display option. FPS limit has been enabled to 60 FPS so you don't get more FPS than that. You can also open slash close overlay for on screen touch controls. Anyways, let me just go ahead and tap on start and it seems that my swine windows emulator has frozen for some reason. So I guess we gotta exit the container and try reopening our game once again. So here I have relaunched GTA 4 and you will be able to see for some reason the memory is stuck at 89 MB and it is not going forward that which means the game is actually not booting for some reason. If GTA 4 does not work then let's just go ahead and try out a different game which is going to be GTA 5. So here I'll just go ahead and double tap on GTA 5 launcher and there we go this game has actually booted but previously if you guys remember then in the older versions of my swine GTA 5 used to boot but it used to just get stuck or crash after its loading. So here I'll just go ahead and open the on screen touch controls overlay but it's not showing me anything because we'll need to go to virtual controller mapper and select our preset that we created and there we go now we have all of our on screen touch controls. So let's find out if GTA 5 actually works in this version of my swine emulator or not but unfortunately as you'll be able to see the emulator has frozen once again which is pretty unfortunate. So currently I don't think my swine is actually stable on snapdragon processor android devices. Well we'll try out another game just for namesake to see how well does it actually work. Let's go with Assassin's Creed Rogue and as you'll be able to see this game has actually started. Now I tested out this same game previously and it worked then too which means some games do actually work whereas some games just do not work. But here we go let's just go ahead and tap on the enter button and start playing Assassin's Creed Rogue to see how much FPS do we actually get. The frame rate is capped to 60 FPS so that will be pretty interesting to see if we can get the maximum frame rate possible. So here we go our game has successfully started. You guys will be able to see we are playing Assassin's Creed Rogue on our Android device without any issues. Now unfortunately I have not mapped all the buttons such as E, F etc. So I don't get the pleasure of having those controls but you will be able to see the game is actually working even though there are graphical issues but still the CPU usage is only 37% as you will be able to see at the top left corner and the RAM usage is about 11 GB. Obviously if you want to emulate such high end PC titles then you gotta have a decently high end Android device as well. Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video though. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. I'll see you guys next time though. Thanks for watching. Peace out.